Is the forward leaning inversion safe? The most common exercise to turn a baby that is breech or transverse, which is what my baby was. And this position along with the extra help of gravity helps create the room in the lower uterus so that the baby can turn. So it's not the hip inversion, it's not going down, your head going down, that helps baby move head down. It's going from your head going down to going back up is what turns the baby. That's the secret of it. So I've researched that mom should not do the forward leaning inversion. If you have the following, if you have high blood pressure, if you have extra amniotic fluid, and then if you have heartburn at the time that you want to do it, if you have a glaucoma, or if you have an increased risk of a stroke. Also, do not do the forward leaning inversion if you are aware that you have any other pregnancy complications. One question I had a lot was, what if the cord is wrapped around baby's neck? Can I still do this? I recommend talking with your doctor to ensure that this is safe for you and baby. Don't hold the inversion for more than 30 seconds. So find a sturdy bench and then have your hips a good distance apart from each other. Lower your hand to the floor and then carefully go down on your forearms with your head upside down. You wanna keep your chin tucked and then your knee should be close to the edge. Um, your bottom is up high in the air. If it is comfortable for you, you can sway your hips or you can just stay still. If you want to, you can flatten your lower back and do a posterior pelvic tilt. But you want to take three deep breaths and then come back to your hands as you sit back upright and then take three more deep breaths. Take two breaths in the kneeling position and then one more breath sitting on your heels. And that is it. So let me show it to you now. Get to the edge of your bench or your couch and then go down on your hands and then carefully go down to your forearms and then take three deep breaths. Okay, now go back to your hands. Go back, make sure you are steady. Take two more breaths. Okay, now sit down on your heels. If you have any other questions, make sure to comment them below. I have loved researching this and being able to share this with you and I love how this community is so amazing in commenting their success stories and also helping other people as they are navigating how to turn their own baby. So keep on sharing your stories and if you have any other ideas on how to help prepare you and baby for delivery, go comment below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more about pregnancy and baby. And now toddler, I'm a three-year-old too, and also mom life, because we post a new video every single Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Congrats on baby and good luck.